What's up? Hello, hello. Greetings, greetings. I am hip hop artist Frankie Boz, and I got the keys to the goddesses of the earth. And I wear this hat because it's Black History Month and it's the month of Love Day. You know, Valentine's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am hip hop artist Frankie Boss. Before we go into today's story, I'd like to remind you to stay tuned to my debut television show, The Frankie Bars Show, aired on the 7th of every month on DCTV. That's RCN 10, Comcast 95, Verizon 11. You can also catch it on my YouTube channel. And make sure you subscribe for this month's episode called Curators. Curators. Now, as it concerns today's story, I'd like to talk to you about the godliness of the woman. I'd like to use for today an inspiration of vagina monologues, the vulva, as the symbol or example or teaching tool that describes the power of the woman, the goddess of the earth. All right, <clears throat> now let's talk about this. Before we go into the godliness of the woman, the godliness of the woman can be essentially seen and expressed through the vulva. Hey, you say, Frankie, what is the vulva? Why do we call it the vulva? What is the vulva? The vulva is considered the, the pussy, okay? Now it is incorrect to refer to the vulva as the vagina. That is a common misconception within society as far as the title or the wording of the woman's vulva. It's not the vagina, it's called the vulva. The vulva is the female external genitalia. It is the woman's sex organ. Now, on a divine level, we could refer to the sex organ or the external female genitalia or the vulva as the portal. You could call the vulva, AKA the portal. Can you say, Frankie, what is a portal? Portal, your key word for today is portal. Your key word for today is vulva. The reason why I call it a portal, and if I were to describe the portal, I would say that the portal a portal is a bridge point or an exit point or a gateway between two places. It's the gateway or the bridge point or the exit point between one place and another. Now, biologically and arguably, there's approximately eight parts to the vulva. Now I wanna break down every part of the vulva to differentiate the vulva from the vagina and how all these entities work together. I wanna to connect it, I wanna connect it. You know I am Frankie Boss and I'm all about connection, so we're gonna link this right quick. All right, so you have approximately eight parts of the vulva, or the woman's external female genitalia. You have the pubic mound. The pubic mound is the fleshy-like substance that protects the vulva, that resides on top of the vulva, where the pubic hairs reside to protect the vulva during sexual intercourse. You also have the libia major, the outer lips that protect the vulva. You also have the libia minor, the inner lips. You also have the urethra, the part of the vulva that is responsible for urination. You also have the clitoris. The clitoris is designed for strictly sexual stimulation of the woman. You also have the perineum, the muscle-like substance that separates the vulva from the anus. And you also have the anus. I'm sure all y'all know what that is. And you have, last but not least, the vagina, which is the main part of the vulva that facilitates cleansing the woman. It also facilitates sexual penetration, and it also facilitates birth giving birth. Now this is where I'm going to transition into the divine part. Many of you all have your own definition of who God is. 
And that's totally fine. You know, everyone has their own relationship with God. You know, some people believe that there's a God. Some people believe that they're God. Some people call him uh, the creator, whatever. Today, I'm gonna to refer to him as the creator. Let's just say for the sake of argument that you could refer to God as the creator. And if we believe that the creator created man and woman, or if we believe or choose to believe that the creator created the woman, I would also like to refer to the woman as the creator or as a creator. Creativity, creativity, creation, creativity is a property found in the woman like kindness is a property found in love or like heat is a property found in fire or like wet is a property found in water which means women are subject to the power of the creator, which is seen through the vagina because the vagina is the main canal in which the creator chooses to create mankind through the vagina. We're gonna transition into three black creators, women who are very talented, and we're gonna visit them in Southeast Washington, D.C. at an open mic in Washington, D.C. called Speak Easy. And these creative women are gonna speak to you through poetry, through art, through creative pieces that they wrote about woman empowerment. So one of the creators that we're gonna hear from is Miss Black America, D.C., also known as LJM, who hosts every last Friday of the month an open mic called Speak Easy, held at We Act Radio. And we also have Dior, who's also another wonderful black love creature who creates. She also hosts the open mic in Southeast Washington, D.C. every third Tuesday of the month at the Anacostia Arts Center. So yes, you get to connect with these three creative love creatures and hear their creative pieces through these open mics. Let's take you to Speak Easy. So this is for all my people out there who have felt a connection and then realized that it was shallow. All right. You say our connection is deep, but let's go ahead and dig a little deeper. Past the charismatic, part pretty tooth, sweet lip spot finding tongue, majestic words, smooth as silk demeanor, representative having ass. As if gold is just a metallic meant to fool. So let's go ahead and dig a little deeper and deeper until we reach rock bottom. Boom, I should. But really, that was just for everyone who says that they're finding a true connection, when the reality is is that the connection comes from within. Go, huh? Hey. Hey. I should try, I should try. You got it. All right, this one's entitled, From O-E to O-D. I wanna go back before the processional, before we were professionals, before the lining was built. I want to go back to the days when it was cool to utter our names in every fleeting sentence. Back to the days when we couldn't wait to dangle in each other's arms. The days when nobody's impression of us mattered because we were in an insexual, insensual pair. The days I speak of are incarcerated into my mind in debacles of shame. My acquainted love came in abundance. It made my body swarm and Reform into anyone's hole or wrench or as long as it indulged my whole self. See, my love would fleet at every waking moment, leading me to a life of begging and drowning into debt just to have your love around. You around me meant bliss toward heaven. Heaven was us curled up around one another, hand in mouth. You'd allow me to consume all of you. Fuck, I felt privileged to hold you. Mm -hmm. Out of all the people in the world, you chose me. <laughs> you never fluttered or flinched in my dark history. You redeemed me. 
my lips warm to your tongue, to your touch that paraded with me with delight. Shit, my whole body felt damn near invincible. You are my light. Mm -hmm. How dare you portray me and leave me so cold? I thought we were soulmates. How we formed into one form. But on this day, I realized I was just your muse. Come to find you go home with any other hoe. Grab you by the neck, slam you down with one motion, throw you down by the side. You meet no strangers, for you have no standing or morals. Thank you for nothing. Sincerely, O.D. So what we want to do is make sure that we work with one another in a community. We've got to matriculate this dollar so that we can really eat. Yes. And it's only up to y'all because DC is a small fraction of the beautiful brown, black, and diverse world that it is. So yes. you need to give back. You need to support this. You need a fundraise. You need to show love. Let's play around with the uh, beat. Yes. I'm going to just freestyle on that seven yeah, like hey. I'm an MC. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, so she said she likes it when we read together because it makes her feel connected. You know, uh, the time we spend, uh, it, it stimulates her mind and it stimulates her heart. The words, you know, this is how it went. Together we cook, then go read us a book. She feeling my vibe, I can tell by her look. While she cooking, she sent me to the store for condoms. Excitement's building, I get in between her columns. This was in a private chair, you were not invited there Blindfolded both my eyes, rode a good inside the chair Have sex, then have an apple cider beer I had a restaurant, we was having bison there Saw a willow tree while we were walking on the grass Took her home, read to her while she take a bath Give her my last, she make me laugh Grab her by the hands, she my other half And I love her so, I don't judge her past Uh, uh Consistent till I make a bust like a fat cyst Hit it till I make her hair and make a packed fist Tell her that I love her but she don't believe it We just use this up his body when it's convenient When I make her mad, she yell don't touch me And if I'm inconsistent, then she won't trust me Offer me a love, I just didn't need it They'll take advantage of you if you be too lenient Writing was on the wall, I just didn't read it Still hopping when we roll a joint Then she turned around and left me at my lowest point Really convinced I had the keys to her heart Then she broke mine, tore the pieces apart uh. but Will you help me mend the broken pieces of my heart And put it back together By showing love and subscribing to the channel? I love black people